Hey, what's up everyone? A couple people commented on my YouTube videos asking me how I went about adding the grid in my uh, multiplayer card game. So I thought I'd make a quick video just to showcase how I went about doing that because it's actually pretty easy. So of course, the first thing you want to do is go on itch.io and get my card game template. Then you're going to open it up in Unity by importing it and all that good stuff. And it should look something like this. So of course, in this uh, default project, you have two player fields. This is where the players uh, spawn cards, where they summon cards onto the board. So basically what we want to do for our, for our grid, each tile should be basically is the same idea behind this player field. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to delete the enemy player field. Um, let's go in our prefabs UI. Let's rename player field to tile. Then we're just going to open it up. We're going to delete the horizontal layout group because we're not going to need that. And uh, we might as well also just change the size. Then we can just do that here. Let's do like, I don't know, 400 by 400. And let's position it in the center. And then uh, we're going to delete this. We're going to create a new game object. Let's just do like a UI uh, panel. Name it grid. We can make this transparent. And we're just going to assign a grid layout group. There you go. And then we're going to just going to add our tile to it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now you've got yourself a grid system. And then we're just going to duplicate these grids. Let's do 25 because my game uses 5x5. Five five. So there we have 25 grids. And then you just mess around with the settings a little bit. Um, how do I go about moving this? There you go. So you can see this is not does not look like a grid yet, but you just mess around with the settings. Um, and actually, the problem is our grid scale is too small. So you want to open it up. Yeah, there you go. And now you have yourself a five by five grid. Now, of course, if you move around the scale, it's going to mess around. It's going to mess with the grid. So you want to position it properly, scale it properly. And now you have yourself a grid. And essentially, the code that we already have on our tiles uh, here, the player field script already handles the the logic of what happens when you drop a card, when you try to summon a card onto the board. Of course, you're going to have to tweak it and change a couple things, but this is basically how a grid works. Now, another thing we're going to have to do is in our game manager here, we have a player field that tracks the player's field as well as the enemy field. Of course, this is just one uh, variable, but we're going to have to add the array of every single tile. So from 0 to 24, every single tile will need to be added in our game manager. Now, our grid here is actually just an array from 0 to 24. So 0 to 24. Let's just copy this grid. Let's open it up in paint. So let's say our unit is on the center tile, which is 12. And our unit on 12 wants to move up. Well, moving up is number 7. If you want to move to the right or to the left is 11. If you want to move to the right is 13. And if you want to move down, that'll be 17. So pretty obviously here you can already see how this works. Um, if we're moving up, we do minus 5. If we're moving back or left, we do minus 1. If we're moving to the right, we do plus one to the right. And if we're moving down, we do plus five. And this is true regardless of where you are on the map, so on the grid, sorry. So if you're number 10, minus five, plus five, you're number 14, minus five, plus five. This is true everywhere on the board. And you're basically going to lose use this logic just to determine, you know, is there a unit on the tile where I'm trying to move? Um, is the unit I'm trying to attack out of range or something like that? So if you're on tile number 12 and you're trying to attack a unit on number two, all you have to do is you grab the tile ID, do minus five. And if the unit is lower, a lower value than seven, then you know they're out of range or something like that, right? You can do whatever you want. Now, of course, if we go back on our game here on our grid, if you were to mess with this, this is a five by five grid. So of course, minus five plus five works for this. But if you were to do six by six, eight by eight, 10 by 10, if you change the layout of the grid, if you mess with the grid, then it's obviously you're going to need different math. I assume I haven't tried it, but I assume if you do eight by eight, eight by eight, then instead of minus five plus five, it'll be minus eight plus eight. So you would have to adjust accordingly. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you in my next video.